It is December 1st, therefore officially Vlogmas. If you're new here, my name is Taylor and I teach third grade in Central California. We are doing a hybrid model, so that's why I have some of my kiddos in my class. I have about five on Monday, Tuesday, five on Thursday, Friday. Wednesday is all online as you will probably see. So for this week, we are learning about the bossy R, but our main reading skill is problem and solution, which I have a very dramatic way of sharing the objective with my kids and they pretty much just laugh at me. We are reading one of my favorite ELA stories, which is Martina, the beautiful cockroach. I feel like it teaches a really good lesson, so we get to go over problem solution, folk tales, and really teaching them how to visualize in the story. So those are our main reading goals for the week. We are learning multiplication. We are finishing up chapter three, so we're gonna review and then hopefully take the test by the end of the week. Yeah, okay. What are we learning? Does anyone remember what we're because then you see what he's like when he's really angry. If he's gonna yell at you, or if he's gonna be like, oh no, it's okay. Because you know, once someone's gonna get mad at you all of a sudden. So, let's go ahead and reread this just so we can think of what the new problem is. Hey, stop right there. Why is she, and cross her legs, and cross her legs. Because she has a lot of legs. Legs. Oh, she has to play, she has to cross her legs, and cross her legs, and cross her legs. Blue okay. cheese above. Six legs, okay. And daintily, remember, she did it daintily. She did it lightly. She didn't fall on the table like I just did. Okay, daintily. So, finger under she. Finger under she. Ready, go. She didn't have to wait long. Martina tried not to stare. At his splendid shoes. Ooh, someone raise your hand and tell me, what does splendid mean? It's amazing or? Magnificent. Magnificent. Good job, splendid. He does have pretty splendid shoes, right? <laughs> Hold on. So, this rooster, look at his eyes. He's looking at his reflection. He's looking at his reflection. I think he's really selfish. He's really selfish. He cares about him. He cares about him because he's looking at himself in the reflection. He's not even looking at her. And he says, wow, you are so beautiful. I'm going to look even more fabulous with you by my side. That's pretty cool. That's and really cool. I want someone who, yes, thinks I'm pretty, but also thinks I'm smart and funny and fun to be around and kind yeah right that's someone that i want to be with right. not someone who just thinks i'm beautiful to make him look good that's right. not a good person think right. about being friends if you're only friends with someone because they're pretty or they're handsome what are you guys gonna do yeah just look at each other all day right. no no we yeah. gotta be able to have fun play the same things right so do you think he's gonna really make you like a good partner no, but my goodness, so... So, in our notebooks, underneath our first problem, we're going to write 
write another problem. So problem number two. Problem number two. What's this uh, rooster's name? Don Gallo. And what about him? How, how does he look? He looks happy. Right? A rooster who is fancy. What's the other vocabulary word? Fancy and? Splendid. Magnificent describes splendid, yes. Who is fancy and splendid, but why do we get that vibe? Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty-two. 